our next um, showcase is from Hockerall College. Shamala and Fernando will talk us through some of the work that they've been doing. And thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. I was really struck by the previous speaker, um, you know, talking about the power of what students can do. I've been a teacher at Hockerall College for a very, very long time in Bishop Stortford. And we are at that precise midpoint between Cambridge and London um, for people who don't know the area. And it's, it's a very, you know, it's a very special school. It's in many ways an international school. We draw students from all over the world. It's also a state boarding school, just to provide some context. And what we're, I think, most proud of is what our students are able to do when we give them the opportunities to flourish. And so here next to me this afternoon is Fernando Ajayo Damas, um, who is a product of Hockerall Anglo-European College, um, who was um, our house captain um, in senior boys boarding, and he was also our head of Model United Nations. Um, Fernando is able to do this talk perfectly in English, as you will hear. However, he could also very easily and equally um, slip into Spanish, French or German, um, if you would find that that is, is more helpful. Um, Fernando has been at the college um, since he finished university, currently teaching theory of knowledge, um, which is a course in um, epistemology in the IB um, International Baccalaureate Diploma Programme. He's also a boarding house tutor. Fernando started working with us in partnership actually before he rejoined the college in 2017, when we began um, the process of decolonizing our curriculum through the Creativity, Activity, Service and Enrichment Program, which uh, the acronym for which is the CASE curriculum. This really is about bringing aspiration to action through the curriculum and Fernando is going to be talking through that. At this point, I'm going to be walking away, but just thanking Fernando publicly for the amazing work that he has done in assisting us in the review and redesign of our case programme. His input has been invaluable, as you will see. And Fernando is also available should any schools need his help going forward um, with a fresh pair of eyes um, to give that insight. Fernando, over to you. Thank you so much. Um, yes, thank you. It's such an honour to be here to be able to speak to you. Um, I must say, just to begin, is, is that one of, the, one of my main interests in education and the reason why I decided to return to this really special college, which is Hokro, is for teachers like Shamila. Even though I never chose literature at a high level and she wasn't ever able to teach me, which was a big regret that I have. But in any case, today I really wanted to give some context before getting into explaining the case curriculum as to where Hokro was, where it's been and where it's heading. Um, so uh, this is our mission statement, and you will notice the emphasis on, on, global, on, on global education here. And here at Hocker, what we try to do is, is develop inquiring, knowledgeable and responsible global citizens through academic excellence. In the past 42 years, um, Hocker has gone from being a local school to then becoming a European college and now heading towards being a fully global and decolonized school. Uh, although it was early established in 1850 as a teacher training college when it reopened in 1980s it was a co-educational boarding school but the, and then in the year 1998 uh, this proved to be a defining year so we introduced the international baccalaureate Hockerl became an anglo-european college it attracted students from all, all over europe including myself and some of my family members um, we started to teach music history and geography bilingually which was uh, the first school to do this nationally um, and in addition to this, it established cultural links with schools all over Europe to offering language exchanges for students. So as you can see, in, Hockerl enjoys a rich and varied heritage. And testament to this is an institution that is constantly pursuing innovation. And in the last couple of years, we're once again at another juncture point. Um, our school, which devotes itself to developing global citizens, has recently felt, and this includes its current students, teachers, and alumni, that we need to rethink exactly what we meant by global education. Being part of a UNESCO Associated Schools net Network is a defining aspect of what Hockerl is today, but most importantly, the path it wants to follow in the coming years. So we want to build an education at Hockerl that is founded on international understanding, peace, intercultural dialogue, sustainable development goals, and quality in education and practice. Um, so what I want to introduce to you today is this new innovative subject that we've introduced for pupils between the ages of 14 and 16, 
uh, called, as Shamila mentioned, Creativity, Activity, Service and Enrichment, or CASE for short. The CASE curriculum is answering to the current demand by students and people all over the world for an education that, foster, that fosters cultural diversity, that it's interdisciplinary and that it's problem-based. Um, through our case units, which I'll explain now, we look at issues such as reflexivity, right? We want our students to be reflexive. We want individuals that are able to reflect on their experiences, that are learning to better understand how they learn, the challenges they face. And these are students that are self-aware, they're self-critical, they work together, they work individually, and they're honest and critical about themselves too. They are motivated to improve. One of the examples of one of the units we look at is Great Debates of Today, where students are encouraged to look at any subject in periodicals or newspapers, prepare themselves for a Westminster-style debate, and they need to be able to anticipate counter-arguments, they need to be able to adapt during the debate if things go wrong, you need to be able to um, do well and to deal with feedback from other speakers, and most importantly, creating a culture of debate which is educational and not something that is to be won, but something that is to be understood. And, to, and the only winning is to learn from someone else. Um, we also want to create, create disruptive thinkers. This is something I'm particularly, um, particularly passionate about. We want, to, we want students that are not just memory banks, but that are, have the intellectual tools to challenge the paradigms of today. So throughout the course, such as in, the, in this uh, unit, Environment and Crisis, we want is them to deal with contemporary issues and to come up with solutions, not just to sit in the sidelines. So in this unit, for instance, we give the opportunity for students to look at the environment at a local, global or national stage. Um, so, for instance, they could be elaborating a policy brief to the IPCC on any climate issue they wish, or they could research a greenwash advertising campaign from a firm and remake it to really represent what their environmental practice or my practice in this case is. And we also give them the, the opportunity to look at a local environmental issue, to organise a service event and to actually get their hands dirty, whether it's in school or in Bishop Saltford to actually create some serious change. Uh, we're equally interested, Hockle is all about, it's an Anglo-European school, but as we say, we want to take a global leap and we're interested in world belief systems. We thought that if there wasn't a better opportunity to look at ethics than to look at not the conventional majoritarian religions, but to get students to think about those religions which aren't talked about, whether it's an indigenous belief systems, whether it's ancient religions that are not looked at today, and really, this was an idea also to get their hands dirty in bringing in artistic and creativity. So they, in this unit, what we get them to do is to build a model or an effigy or a relic of this religion that they've researched with recycled materials so that they're not just constantly just researching and presenting, but actually creating something um, that we can then display. Uh, this unit, Arts into Actions unit, once again, we're trying to bring arts, politics, current affairs, and the sustainable development goals so they're taking they're, they're reflecting on how they consume media how they consume the arts today and then they're trying to come up with their own production whether it's in arts or music or drama and link it to a sustainable development goal so the idea is of giving arts a purpose and that students are using their creative means for this um we then look at science in the world just to give a, a, a brief overlook about it Science in the world, the scientific method, the role we've all seen during the COVID-19 pandemic and during the vaccination program, how scientific method and scientific rigor have been called into question. We want students to teach their fellow students about the importance of this. Uh, and finally, I think most important, it's about lifelong learning. So the idea that we're creating learners for the future, people are constantly reflecting on the progress. And what they do here is they, this is the final project where they, they create their own advocacy campaign as year 11 students, bringing everything together and finally creating some proper impact. Um, and yes, this is a brief overview of what our, what the case curriculum is about. Uh, if you've got any questions, of course, we'll be very happy to answer them via email. Hopefully this presentation can be shared. We've got a link to our curriculum in one of these slides. Um, yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. Absolutely brilliant to hear what I think, sadly, is the exception rather than the rule in education at the moment, but to foster disruptive thinkers, not memory boxes, and the rich and diverse way you do that. It was always brilliant to see um, what, you know, a student you've taught, Shamila, um, what happens to them, the value you've added, and then in, in turn, the connection between the two of you and the value you then add to each other. Fernando, thank you so much.